Yo guys and welcome back to FIFA 19 West Ham United Career Mode and in today's episode we're going to be playing a few little games with us today. Um, a few little games. Uh, probably going to sim the Brighton game. I know I was lost. I mean, I aren't playing it but like I'm high away. Uh, I've already lost in the league so you know the invincible season is gone. So yeah we're going to be playing the Tottenham game, the Arsenal game and the Bayern Munich game. So yes. Let's get right into the games. Um, yeah, I know. Maybe we could win. I'm pretty sure I've seen this game many times. Or at least I've seen the Brighton game many times. Fernandez gets them up. 1-0. And then Lockadier misses a penalty. That might just be our luck. Um, come on, lads. Come on, lads. Getting towards half-time here. Nothing quite happening yet. Bloody hell. 20 minutes to go. Cyprian gets a goal. Absolutely incredible. Can we get a winner? No, we can't. We we draw. That's uh, that's it's better than nothing. And it still keeps us on one loss. So a point's better than nothing. But at the end of the day, you know, you would have wanted more. Uh, he's been loaned out to Stoke. They want him. They can't have him. Um. And now we're at deadline day. And Casemiro has gone to Juventus. Didn't even see that. Um, but yeah, Nathan Trot actually left. Wow, he actually went to Lazio. But I've agreed a deal for another midfielder. You know, another strong midfielder in this midfield. Another strong midfielder in this midfield. I need to stop. And that player is Leon Goretzka. 51.7 million, his release clause. 25 years old. Let's get him in the S uh, the SBC. When he, this is an ultimate team, man. Let's get him in the squad. Um, realistically, he's going to be one of the better players in that midfield. Not sure how I feel about him having the number 13, you know. Might have to change it. And then I've got a free um, free transfer. Anderson Talisca. It's going to be coming next season. If I decide to do another season, that is, then Anderson Talisca will be in that midfield. Um, so, yeah. Decent little bit of business there. Transfer for four. Marcus Brown, a player who I'm always looking to get rid of. Um, never, he never seems to go. Like the thing with transfers on this FIFA is, like they never seem to just happen. So Marcus Brown can sod off to uh, whatever club that is. Um, Declan Rice, wow, well, 14 million apparently. <coughs> and Alexander Arnold, Manchester City wanted to buy him. Real Madrid have wanted to buy him. And like, why? Why is everyone after my boy Trent? Um, let's just go through the the day, the transfer deadline day. Alfie Roberts. You know he might be a player that you want to get rid of. No, I want to get rid of. You know, it's not really too important to the team at the moment at 16 so yeah he can he can go out on loan if he really wants to he probably won't because this is FIFA 19's transfers um, 63 at 16 that was just absolutely incredibly um, let's go back through uh, we've got an email it's for, for uh, rice retracted this is why deadline day is really boring because it's normally just play. It's normally just telling me that my offers have been rejected. Um, bloody hell! Um, Roberts move, Browns move, loan offer for Mitchell. Go on, Mitchell. Alfie Mitchell to Norwich for a year. I reckon that could be quite worthwhile for him. You know, 65 rated at 16. You know, please go to Norwich. Please, <laughs> I need you to go to Norwich. I really do. Did we ever manage? To, we never got rid, managed to get rid of Samuelson. Oh dear, I've just pressed X again by accident. I hate my life because this will take 64 years. It's been 84 years. There you go. Um, here we are, Nathan Trot. Off the bloody Lazio. Who'd have thought it? This Andrews, Andres bloke, Andrews, whatever his name is, Julian Andrews. 
He he looks like he's gonna be a decent old player, you know, seventeen, sixty three rated. You know, let's let's get him off to Konya Sport. You know please. Uh, literally though. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. And off of us Samuelson's probably not gonna get accepted. This is why I hate deadline day. If this didn't take like half as long on it, there's no point in me even like trying it on. Just, just I'll have a look at the emails or respond to the ones that I actually feel like responding to. Oh of course a low move rejected. Interest shown in Butland, I don't care. Oh, oh, oh. Hang on. Who have Red Bull sat Red Bull just who have Red Bull like RB Leipzig just signed? Hang, hang on a second. Hang on. I've no idea who that is. I'd imagine he must be like quite highly rated. The fuck? <laughs> what does what? Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, those are just the latest deals. Didn't really need to see that. And there we go, transfer deadline day for January. The last bit of transfers we'll be doing for this series, or for this season at least. Oh, we got a transfer from as well. 14 million! Bloody hell! 14 million! And now we have some training. I'm trying to work out. Oh. Let's put. Someone into the training drills. <laughs> I don't know who to put in. Like, I haven't got a lot of options here. Mount, maybe? Oh, wait. The lick's gone up to 85. Oh my god, look at his defending. What the fuck? Is a D up or go in there? Why not? Um. Yeah, this, this this team's looking good. Sancho's up to an 86 as well, which is always nice. But the big one, I still haven't won an FA Cup match. I've I haven't won a single cup match that I've played on this game. So I I played what the the FA Cup match against City in season one and lost what was it four one. Played the FA Cup match against um. Tottenham and lost 3 2. You played the FA Cup match against, or played the uh, Carabao Cup match against, um, who was it? Um, Newcastle and lost that one, what? One, two. I think I lost that one 3 2 as well. No, I lost the um, the one against, or uh, well, the FA Cup. I didn't, I oh know, I drew the FA Cup match against Tottenham, what we played in the last episode. That would take a long time to explain. It's taking a long time to get into this game because of the deadline day stuff. But um, away at Spurs, you know, we need to get a result here because I actually really want to win the FA Cup on this game. So it's a replay um, at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Martial scored two in. He actually scored the equaliser in like the 88th minute or something like that against Tottenham in the last um, episode. He loves a goal against Tottenham. He scored. Two goals against Tottenham in our 2 0 win in season two. Then my man scored two goals against Tottenham in this FA Cup match. Last FA Cup match. Jesus Christ, we need to finish an improvement to mad. <laughs> oh my god. It is a great fixture with a wonderful. But uh, there we go. The there is a. Uh, this is what it's all come down to. This, this could potentially be us into the next round of the FA Cup. Um. Yeah, let's uh, get into the highlights and see what happens. Getting the highlights yeah. started off today, we have Timo Werner running through, passing it into Rashford, who just it taps it. That's just absolutely taps it. Finesses it into the bottom corner. Well, not really in the bottom corner, but just finesses it past Hugo Lloris. He takes that sort of back step, and he's never going to get to that one. Decent finish from Malkus, 1-0. And here we have a brilliant pass from Declan Rice to Mason Mount. He had a shot earlier in the game that was brilliantly saved by Lloris, but that one, low driven, into the bottom corner. It's 2-0, um, and you can say, on the balance of play in this game, we probably deserved it, but we took two goals out of absolutely nowhere, 
but that was incredible finishing from Mason. And a lovely long ball played over to Marcus Rashford. I think it was Declan Rice or Cyprian that played it, but he absolutely twats it in off the post. I can't remember who played the pass to him, but it was. It doesn't really matter when you've got the finishing like that. Rashford's just a class above most of the other players at this club. And the last chance of the second half, Timo Werner takes an absolutely brilliant couple of touches around the defender. I can't remember his name. Coates, I think, I'm pretty sure it is. Takes a brilliant touch around him there. Again, low driven into that bottom left-hand corner. Absolutely no keeper in the world saving that. Woo, what a half. That more than makes up for the absolute calamity that was last episode's game against Tottenham. The 2-2 draw. 4-0. 4-0. Rashford's had two shots. Everything we seem to be hitting seems to be going in. Mason Mount could have had an absolute screamer if uh, uh, Lloris hadn't tipped his volley at wide. But he did make up for he got himself a goal. Doubled our lead, you know. But, wow, we're playing exceptionally today. This is the kind of games we want to be winning, you know. I want to win the FA Cup. I want to win, like, a domestic double. Like, we can't win the treble, unfortunately. But look how well we're playing. It's actually pretty even. We've only had three shots on target because Rashford's came off the post. We've had five shots when we put four of them in, though. That's the, that's what counts at this point. Yeah, we've not had as much possession, but we've, we're four nil up. And there's, there's surely not a lot that Tottenham can do to, to come back from this. Yeah, hopefully we just keep this up in the second half. Um, I might take a few players off for the, for the big game against Arsenal. Um, you know... But uh, yeah, it's been a solid half, and hopefully we can continue that. And the first chance of the second half, it comes out to Timo Werner. We did a time finish, and it wasn't good at all, but it still finds its way into the goal. Um, so yeah, time finishing. Even when you've got 93 finishing, you can fuck it up, and you'll still get goals like that. Um, yeah, that's 5-0, his second of the game. Absolutely incredible. And now one chance for Tottenham in this half, the last chance of the ho last highlight of the game. Donnarumma making a save. He made so range. many good saves in it. He made about two, three or four good saves in this game. That was just one of them. Um, but yeah, absolutely incredible performance from the lads. Ah, so it's good. We got a clean sheet. Um, yeah, we we're obviously in terms of pick up. Uh, five nil against Tottenham. Five nil. What the fuck? Five nil against Tottenham. What has happened there? Again, we we only had like two shots in that half. Um. I mean, the, the second goal from Werner, we didn't even time well enough. It was like a white timed finishing, and it still went into the top corner. It just proves how good like players finishing is. Didn't even have to use a substitute. That was just... Aiden Fraser had a fantastic game against Harry Kane. I'll tell you this. I'll, I'll show you something right now. Harry Kane, no goals. Look at this, no shots. We had a shot, not on target. Made 21 passes, to be fair to him. He didn't do a lot, other than, other than like, he genuinely didn't do anything. Like it came up with a stat he had like z zero and everything, and it was like what the fuck. Um, yeah, decent win that. Uh, on to the next round of the FA Cup. We finally won a cup game, and it was convincing against Tottenham away as well. And we did most of the work in the first half really. But yeah, we'll take. That. So we made it to the round 16 in the FA Cup. We do know what our team is. It's going to be Wolves. Um, Real Betis want to come in for. For Hax Banovic, I'm more than happy to take the seven and a half million for Hax Banovic here, you know? More than happy. You know, I'm in a good mood. We just beat Tottenham 5 0, so, you know, it's, it's always going to go well for me, isn't it? You know, we accepted 9.3 from Freeberg, but he didn't want to go. It's just, it's okay, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, there we go. Um, but yeah, the only thing about this, uh, this game against. Uh, Wolves is it comes two days before the Bayern Munich game which is kind of annoying but um, shouldn't be too much of a problem at this point um, yes we are 10 points clear of Everton so we do need to keep uh, do need to start winning a few more games Harry Kane grab January player of the month what the actual fuck um, oh, I don't really care um, but this is what we're caring about more at the minute, the the Premier League, as good as the FA Cup is, and probably will be for us, the FA, uh, the Premier League's more than likely what we want to be winning straight away. Who can we get rid of out of this team? Don't need three wingers really. Um, I know Declan Ro Declan Rice is on there because he can play centre back as well. Look how much better the team looks now though. We're gonna get Hudson Odoi involved. 
Uh, there we go. That's what the team's looking like now. Now we're going into this big game against Arsenal. I think this is a home game, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe? No, it's away. <laughs> I'm a retard. Third worry. But yeah, this is my problem. Like, the the Wolves game in the Cup. It's a home game, so I can probably sim it, but I really do want to win the FA Cup. Um, I do want to win the FA Cup, though, and that's the problem. Um, I want to win the Champions League again as well. But, you know, we've got bigger fish to fire it. A bigger fish to fry, bigger fish to fry at the minute, and that involves um, a Premier League game at the Emirates. So we're going to go and play that. We're going to hopefully get three points. Now keep ourselves clear of Everton. Uh, hopefully Mbappe can just keep finishing like a G. You know, even then, like time finishing, it doesn't have to work. You don't have to get it perfectly timed. But when you do, like they sometimes go in. <laughs> I just want to prove. Oh, see, like when you perfectly time it, it doesn't go in half the time. But like when you don't do it, it goes in. What's First that about? Game, always a special game. He's certainly a special player. It should be a special match. And but Goretzka's live. making his debut for us. Um, 50, 52 million. We'll say we got him for. Uh, well, fifty-one point seven. But that was just his release clause. So no, grateful for release clause in this game because you can just Emirates snap up stadium. players that have got mad that like. Are worth so much more. Like he'd probably cost about 78 million to get, but no, we managed to pick him up for a whopping 50 million. You know, it's 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 decent business, isn't it? So um, yeah, we'll go into this game against Arsenal. See you in the highlights. Well, they can. Starting off this game's highlights, we did score a goal with Mbappe, and then they equalised with Aubameyang. But a long ball play to Mbappe. He managed to latch onto it and put it, squeezed it past really, squeezed it past Bert Leno, who had a really good game. Um, You'll find, you'll, well, you probably won't here, find out in these highlights, but he had a good game. And now another chance for us. It's played in to Mbappe. He takes the touch and a neat little finish well, gives him his hat trick goal. and makes us 3 1 up at goal the Emirates. Um, but a decent little player. finish that for Mbappe. He turns really well and well, finishes it just that neatly that into that bottom corner. Threes. Oh, what a half. It's been really end to end. You know, we took the lead, they, they equalised. And we took the lead again, and then they almost went to a second, but Mbappe's got another hat-trick. Yeah, he's had eight shots, but you know, he's got a hat-trick. It's only three goals before he was last season at 39. Um, he's got 36 at the minute in the Premier League, which is unbelievable. He's done. He's about to break his own record at this point. You know, he broke Mo Salah's record of whatever, scoring 32 goals in the league, 33, something like that, whatever it was. But um, And then managed to make himself... And then managed to get himself... Uh, Another one. Um, so, you know, he's going to break it again. I'm telling you. It's been incredible. And we've definitely been more clinical this game. See, I want to say we've been more clinical this game than the Tottenham game. But that's not true because uh, the Tottenham game, we were 4-0 up at half-time. But we've had more shots this time. And Bert Leno has been absolutely incredible for Arsenal. Um, so, yeah, just... He's done well. He's done well. But, um... Yeah, let's uh, let's go into the second half. Hopefully, we can continue this and get another get uh, go back to winning ways in the Premier League. Even we haven't won for two games, so um, yeah, let's see what happens. He's First chance away. of the second half is what I'd consider goal of the season at this point. Raheem Sterling take a bow, take a bow. He's had a bit of a duck. He hasn't scored in a while. I think one of his last goals was against Dortmund in the Champions League, so that was a while ago. But that is an unbelievable way to score a goal. Just incredible. Off the bar as well. And then Raheem Sterling, he must have got so much confidence from that. He plays it across. Who's there? It's Leon Goretzka on his debut to get him off the mark. And Raheem Sterling with an assist. He had an incredible game today, I must say, in Sterling. Um, but that's a really good tap -in. And then look who it is again at 5-1. Raheem Sterling's through again. Plays it across to Mbappe, who just toes it into the back of the net for his fourth goal of the season. His 37th goal in the Premier League. What an incredible player he is. It's too easy when you have players like Mbappe. He just he literally toes that into the back of the net. Right. Um, so I'm, I'm going to change the difficulty to ultimate because beating Arsenal 6-1, as fun as it is, just isn't realistic at this point. Um... Uh, it's, <laughs> I'm gonna change to ultimate because, like, if you're if you're gonna the last two games we played, we beat Tottenham five 0 and beat Arsenal six 0 six one even. Like, what's? It's just not really funny. It's it's good, but like, I want to have challenges and it's not. It's it's very poor viewing for you guys at this point. 
So I'm, I'm going to make the, the executive decision. Something I probably should have done a little bit ago, but I'm going to make it ultimate difficulty. So try and challenge myself a little bit more. But um, yeah, a decent win. <laughs> it's a very good win, actually. Mbappe getting four goals. Raheem Sterling bringing his, his goal duct in the most incredible fashion. Oh my god, that is goal of the season. I'm, I'm telling you that now for free. That that is goal of the season. In fact, let's just watch it back now if it's if it's there. There it is. This goal is one of the greatest goals I've, I've scored in this game. First time to just cannon that off of the crossbar. It looks really good when they come off the bar. I mean, it did just ro uh, rolls off the bar, sort of going down to like that sort of area. Like going into the into the roof of the net. And just rolling along into the into the bottom corner, just oh, it's incredible. Oh, there we go. That is uh, the Arsenal game, and I'll we'll take that. So that was that was good. Oh, it was very good. Um, ah, oh, Declan Rice so close to eighty, so close. Um, I, I told you I was gonna do it. I told you I told you it was gonna happen. I can't be playing on. Legendary anymore. It's just too easy at this point. Um, that's it's just it just wasn't fair, really. If I'm going to be able to beat teams like that, const if I'm going to be able to beat teams like Arsenal five one six one, you know, it's just it's not good, is it? Um, well, it as I said, it doesn't make easy. It doesn't make for very good viewing um, when you just watch someone smash a team six one on Legendary, like the. I reckon the ultimate will probably be the ultimate's the hardest difficulty I can make it. Okay, so even if I'm beating teams like Wolves like six seven nil, don't don't judge me because I can't I can't make it harder for myself. Um, I can't tell if I want to play this game or not. I really do want to play it because I really do want to win the FA Cup on this game, but at the same time, like I just want to play the Bayern Munich game. And I reckon that'll be the first challenge we could have on on ultimate. I do want to play a pretty strong side though in this team. A pretty strong side in this team. I do want to play a pretty strong team. Um, so I might get the licked involved. And potential. Uh, no, no, that'll do. That'll do. Hopefully, we should be coming away with a a, a route into the. What is it? We're in this round 16. What's what comes after the round 16? We'll find out. Um, but hopefully they did beat Leverkusen and they beat. You know they're having a decent old season, Wolves. Hopefully we can come away with a route into the into the next round potentially. Please, Rashford gets us a goal. Thank you, Marcus. Oh, thank God, Marcus Rashford is brilliant. Oh no, Declan Rice, no, no. Um, it's not a lot of hap not a lot of stuff happening. Come on, potentially a second goal would be really good here. No! Oh, thank Christ. Oh, my God. I was genuinely like, I'm not playing another replay. Oh, 2-1. Martial in the 89th minute scores a penalty. I, I thought for a second that we'd managed to get, like, a second goal. And I was like, yeah, let's go. But no. Oh, Declan Rice is injured. Why? Why? <laughs> Why has he got injured, man? Um, I don't even know who I want to put into training at this point. Like, who do you, who 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 do you put in at this point? Like, Castaneda, potentially. Like, he needs his handling improved. That's for sure. But uh, we'll go with that. Aiden Fraser's up to seventy-four now, and Hudson always up to eighty-five. Look at that. He's almost at ninety-nine. Short pass. His part, his short game is incredible. Um, we're into whatever. Oh, two weeks out for Declan. It's kind. That's annoying. It's a shame. Do we know who our next FA Cup opponents are? No, not yet. Okay. Bayern Munich is a is a good is a good test. I'd say. Um, I want to have a look at the cup. This is the furthest we've made it in the cup. May I just add? Um, oh, I've still got to look for the replays. So, who are the potential teams we could be facing? We could be playing United, Charlton, Fulham, Arsenal, City, potentially Forest, Brighton, Burnley, or Leicester. 
I'm going to call it now. I reckon we're going to get United, Arsenal, Ch or City. Like, I'm calling it now. Like, we're going to get the hardest teams. Like, we could be getting Charlton Athletic, who I think are in League One at this point. Like, let me go and actually look. Are they in League One or are they in the Championship? Listen. A quick look. They're actually in the Championship, to be fair to them. It's not bad. But, like, now we've got a pretty tough game, I would say. Probably the toughest game we're going to play, considering it's on uh, ultimate difficulty. And, um, you know, it's you always want to be... Uh, it's the first loan, It's the first knockout stage as well. Uh, it's on ultimate. I don't know how I feel about playing on ultimate on this game. Lecon Rice isn't going to play on this. Um, who... Who on earth would you even put in here? Well, I don't I know. I really want to play Noble. Because he's the Champions League player for us. But at the same time, I want to play as strong side as possible. I also don't want to have too many players going off injured. I'm going to play Martial. I want it to be a strong team because Bayern are a strong side. Uh, I could play Goretzka <laughs> against his old club. Um, yeah, no, do you know what? Let's play Sancho. Marcy, I'll play. Ah, uh, it doesn't even really matter. Um, we're probably going to get absolutely bum raped by a by a pretty good Bayern Munich team, and it's at the Allianz at first. First game in this season in the knockout phase of the Champions League. Ah, uh, ultimate difficulty. Bayern Munich away from home. Oh, um, it's just not going to go well for me, is it? <laughs> I'm already I'm already fearing the worst. Uh, Should have kept it on Legendary. Why did, I, why did I do this to myself? I said I was going to put it on Legendary age, on like Ultimate ages ago. So I feel like I owed, owed that to to everyone. Um, yeah. It's just I just don't... I've, I've played like a game on Ultimate before and I won it, like 2-0. But like... This is this is, oh, is it's, it's different when you play other teams like I was playing a low league team with another low city. league team to be the fair, but um, this is Bayern Munich. But uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm quietly confident that we can come away with the win. Like the squad's good enough. Like in reality, the squad is definitely good enough to win. That's just an incredible sight though. But, um, Champions League against Bayern Munich. Let's get into the highlights. Hopefully, we can uh, come away with a win uh, into the next one. Or at least come away with a win going into the home leg. Starting off our highlights here in the 12th minute, 13th minute, whatever you want to call it. We get a penalty, and our player gets a booking. We did, however, go on to miss the penalty because Neuer's a fucking re... Because Neuer just... Mm, keepers from this game just save every penalty they take. Not to worry, though, Mbappe would make up for it. A little bit. Neuer making another fucking save. Um, it falls kindly for for uh, like. Why do you need to put that straight at the keeper though, um, Hudson? Like really, it's an own goal, but like it's one nil. This corner is fucking awful. It's more than fucking gone past a minute of added time, and of course it def it fucking blocks and falls directly to their striker. Like they'd fouled my player in the process. I didn't get a free kick for it, and um, then they get a corner and they do that. It's just scripted at this point. Absolute fucking ridiculous goal that I can see, man. Absolute fucking nonsense that this game has. I can't score a penalty because the keepers dive the right way every single time on this game. Mbappe gets fucking wiped out, but apparently it's not a foul and they go and score from a corner they shouldn't have had. But no, it's fine. It's completely fine. Every fucking... Oh, this game, man, just needs to fucking stop doing this to me. There's no way. <laughs> I've been I've been the better team, but because it's fucking FIFA 19, everything has to go the way the game wants it to. Oh, There's just no way they should have had that goal. And it fucking it gets blocked in my box and falls perfectly to fucking Draxler, doesn't it? Just perfectly to Draxler. I can't be bothered with that shit sometimes. Fucking oh, hopefully we can do better in the second half. First chance of the second half here. Comes out to Milinkovic Savage. I perfectly timed the shot. Why? Why can't I just go in there and perfectly time shots? Why do keepers have to save it or it hits the underside of the fucking bar every time? Like, just go in. Like, there's no reason for that. 
And would you believe it? The next chance we get is another chance for us. And what a fucking surprise. It's another save from Neuer. Oh my god, he's so fucking ridiculous. Just saved every shot I took pretty much in this game. We did hope we managed to get another chance for ourselves. Playing into Mbappe, he just absolutely levered one into the back of the net. Fantastic goal from um, Mbappe, and he's more than made up for the next penalty. But it could have been about three or four at this point. Up to us in our favour, but no, Moyes the difference. And then the, the most retarded bit of passing I've ever seen. Why is that going further than it needs to? And of course, Lewandowski being Lewandowski, we just put that in the back of the net zone. Which, uh, why does Maguire have to play that further forward than he needs to? Why? Why can't he just play it to the lip like a normal fucking human being? Uh, I've got. Uh, uh, of course, it takes a touch off of Donnarumma as well. Fucking ridiculous shit, man. Fucking passing just needs so much improvement. Fucking why is the league's got to play it so fucking retardedly? I should have won that game outright. There's no way they deserve to take a 2-2 from that. No fucking way in the in the world did they deserve that shit, man. No fucking, fucking stupid penalties. Just let me score them. The fucking keepers don't have to dive the right way for everyone I take. Like fucking passing just Oh my god, so many little things need to be improved on this game. Passing is one of them. Little fucking f first touch is so poor. Player movement, poor. Fucking headers, poor. It just so much on this game that just fucking infuriates me about this shit. Like, <laughs> this goal does not need to happen. Why delete? Why? Can Maguire not play that pass properly? And of course it fucking flies into the top left-hand corner. Of course it does. It's fucking FIFA 19. When the shot's not... Oh, when I'm taking shots, it doesn't fly into the top fucking corner. They always fucking say... I had a timed finishing shot, yeah? Perfectly timed it, but no, I fucking big and fucking ticked over the bar because he's a cunt. Like, fuck off. It's not even funny. Absolutely fuming about that game. Absolutely fuming. In no way did Bayern Munich really deserve to win the game. Um, it's just stupid shit that, like that that pisses me off. Like, the lack of, like... Passing is so piss poor on this game. It really is. Like, you look at passing, you think, oh, that could probably... That could... No, it, it, never, go, it never goes the way you tell it to. It goes further forwards than it needed to. Which just makes everything six times harder. Because if your players aren't playing the way you need them to, then what's the point? But to finish this episode off, we're going to simulate the last three games of this month. They're all home games. So, hopefully, you know, it should be a win against Leicester, potentially. 2-1. Goretzka getting another one. And Delict getting a goal. Schmeichel got an injury, to be fair. And Mbappe missed another fucking penalty. Fuck me. Like, just why? Even in simulating, I miss penalties. And on this, Hudson Odoi is getting more shot power, which is good. Um, nothing else really happening. I'm so deflated off that 2 2 against um, your role at the club. Mate, you've literally played games. You, you've, you've played games this episode. Don't stop um, pulling my fucking chain like, oh, I'm not playing enough because you fucking are. Um, anyone, anyone, really? Anyone, 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 any, any, anyone? You're not even good enough. No, oh, okay. Him, we'll have him. Um, England, I think this is, yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, definitely not. No, no, no. Oh, no. It's just, it's just poor. The scouts are like absolutely atrocious sometimes. No, no one from, no one from Denmark. So the one player this time. Fulham. I always struggle against Fulham. I have no idea why in Sims. 3 0. Mbappe rush with Mazawaku. There we go. There we go. Starting to get a little bit more in. 15 points clear now. Um. Ah. Oh. I may check as well what our FA Cup, what is it, I don't even know what round we're in, Part the one after the round of 16, whatever one that is, hey, I don't care, 
Oh, maybe we know what the FA Cup opponents. Maybe. Fulham in the quarterfinals. That's the one. <coughs> and we're at home as well, so that can probably be simmed as well. I didn't get a hard team for once. Thank you. Would have liked Charlton. Hopefully Charlton can beat Arsenal. That would be incredible. Um, but round six of the FA Cup is is a lovely little... A lovely little home trip to a, or a little lovely little home game against, you know, a side that I'd expect us to beat, like realistically. Um, and now the final game for this episode potentially depends on what the Stoke game is. Is us against Newcastle. Mbappe with another goal. Mount and Goretzka. Leon Goretzka is scoring so many goals recently. I think he's genuinely scored like uh, he scored like what three now. What is that? Seventeen points clear. Mbappe's. Already equaled his 39 goals from last season. Another two, I'm pretty sure, and he'll be up at um, 80 goals in the Premier League in just two seasons. Or just under two seasons. Just, oh, it's just incredible. <laughs> Short pass, 99, almost at 100. It's a shame you can't get 100 stats, like 100 rated stats in this game. Hudson Adoy, absolutely incredible player. Um. In fact, let's see what the Stoke game's saying. Because we're that far ahead that I could probably simulate it. Um, I don't want to drag the episode on. I'm already in a pissed off mood because of the the uh, Bayern Munich game. We're 11 games left in the Premier League though. So, we've almost finished Season 2. Oh, it's another home game. I may as well sim it. Like, I may as well at this point. Like... Watch that, I'll lose. This, four home games in a row, man. What is that? Four home games. Yeah, 2 1 Mbappe. Oh, Rashford got himself a correct score again getting a goal. Mbappe was 40th of the season. That's a new that's a new high for him. Uh, but Mbappe, Rashford getting himself sent off is never good. Um, Aiden Froze is up to 75, which is awesome. His, sl his defending ability is going up through the roof. Diop's slide tackle is absolutely incredible. Um, <laughs> do you reckon we should sim the Bayern Munich game? <laughs> I'll play it. I'll probably end up losing. I'll, like, I've got two away goals. But I'll end up losing. Oh, the England squad. I forgot, <laughs> forgot I even had the England squad opportunities on this game. Um, let's just have a look at where we are in the Premier League. I'm pretty sure we'll be top. I mean, that wouldn't surprise me. So the Premier League, yeah, topped by a fucking landslide, really, ahead of City. Um, what is that? Two points. That's 22 points. Not 22, no. Um, oh, I can't hear it. 18 points clear, something like that. Oh, something stupid like that. 17. 17 points clear. I oh, that took me a long time. I might not even be... Yeah, 17, I'm pretty sure. Um, let's have a look at the at the FA Cup. Who else is playing? Um, we've we've actually done well, considering we've literally simmed everyone apart from the Tottenham game. Uh, who did we start our, our run-up against? We don't even start... Oh, no, we drew against Newcastle. We beat them in the replay. Played Tottenham. Uh, and drew 2-2 two -two and then beat them in the replay 5-0. Then we played some sim the uh, fifth round against Wolves, won that. Um, and now in round six we've got who is it? Uh, Fulham at home, so we can probably sim that. Lovely little day out to Wembley after that, I'm pretty sure. Um, and Champions League, like it's it's going well. Who else? Spurs are actually. Oh no, Valencia won on away goals. Get in, lads. Um, <laughs> awesome. Um, let's have a look at the top scorers. I wouldn't be surprised if Mbappe was up there. He's not up there at the minute. Um, then again, Sterling's our top scorer in the Champions League. Then again, PSG have got so many top scorers because they played playoffs to get into the Champions League. Like, it's, it's, I would say it's unfair, but it's really not. <coughs> um, Premier League, Mbappe on 40 goals. What is that, man? I'm sure that Martial was up there. It was that like last year that Martial started scoring a shite ton of goals. Um, and Bap Sterling's got 13 assists. Mbappe's got 11. Hudson-Odoi's got 10. Cyprian's got 7. Ali's got 6. Mount's got 6. 
we've been playing all these games without um, players like Deli Ali. Like that's 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 how good we are, realistically. But I'm going to end the episode off here. I'm just going to check one thing quickly, um, and that's how long we have to wait for our main man. Well, I wouldn't say the main man, but one of the main men in this team, Deli Ali. How long have we got to wait for his return to the West Ham United starting eleven? Oh, six six weeks. I forgot that he literally ruptured his anterior cruciate ligament and he was out for most of the season. Oh, uh, it's really annoying because we spent so much on him. Um, yeah, it'll be fine, though. We'll, we'll make the most out of a bad situation. Um, and, yeah, uh, thank you guys ever so much for watching this video. If you have, please drop a like on the video. Also, subscribe if you are new and turn the notification bell on so you never miss a video of mine. And I'll see you in the next video of mine.